guys, in today's video I'm gonna show you how to add music and make changes on videos audio files. In a previous video I showed you how you can easily import your video in Filmora's media library. For the purpose of this tutorial I'll use a clip from our last day trip to Venice that you can find it in our travels playlist. Ok, the next thing you only have to do is to drag and drop your video in your timeline. After you choose your video's resolution, you have the option to zoom in your track's frames, so you see more easily the incorporated audio file of your video. You can increase or decrease audio volume using the audio volume line displayed over all clip, so you drag it upwards if you would like to increase the volume or drag it downwards if you want to decrease the volume. If you want to delete a specific audio frame or replace the original sound of your video with a music clip, you need to select Detach Audio from the settings of your media file. Now that you have separated the audio from the rest of the video, you can select and remove a specific audio frame, moving the playhead to the beginning and at the end of the clip you want to delete and using the scissor button to crop it. You may also add a new audio file between these two clips. Also, if you change your mind, you can always undo your last move from Filmora's toolbar. In order to delete the original audio file, you only need to select it and press delete. Now you are ready to import a new audio file or to choose a music track from Filmora's audio library. You have so many choices between default and Filmstool tracks that it's impossible to not find the perfect music background for your video. Let's try some of them. Ok, I'm going to use this music track for my video. You can always adjust your audio's volume. You can also set fade in and fade out effects by dragging the sliders at the beginning or at the end of the audio clip. Remember that you can make even more changes when you enter to audio settings of every clip just by double clicking on it. When you are ready, you only need to press the export button, choose your video's format and adjust the rest of the output parameters. If you liked this tutorial, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you for watching guys and see you soon, bye!